Channel 4 News. Top at one tonight, the world is ending. Yes, you heard that correct, the world is ending. The world is ending right before your eyes. <laughs> there are people making decisions and the world is ending. There are people eating dinner and the world is ending. There are people playing football and the world is ending. There are people watching and the world is ending. There are people buying houses and the world is ending. There are people laughing and the world is ending. There are people falling in love and the world is ending. There are people going to war and the world is ending. There are people dying and the world is ending. There the world is ending. The world is always ending. And what are you going to do about it? We live in a world that is always ending. It's been in the process of ending ever since I was born. Sometimes I dream about what it would be like to live in a world that wasn't ending. I ask my parents about it often, about what it was like. And sometimes they're able to tell me stories, heroic stories of when the world wasn't ending. But other times they whisper to me that maybe the ending was seeping in even before we were all watching. Sometimes I wish I wasn't born, because, you know, with the world ending and all, I'm not really sure I have much of a future left. I still go to school and do my work, but that's mostly just going through the motions. Most of this world is just going through the motions. No one's really sure when the final act will happen, so for now I'm just floating around, watching. Are you okay? Ready? Huh? Are you okay? Oh yeah, just a bit tired. Oh, yeah, sure. Come on. I know you aren't okay. Maybe I'm just tired, okay? Isn't it okay to just be tired sometimes? Well, now I know you aren't okay. If you want to be more deceiving in your act, you should use a better excuse. Lots of people use tired. Let's run it again. What? Let's run it again from the top. What are you even talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You know how they say life is a play? Well, maybe your life is a play. Some of us actually care that the world is ending. Oh, I see. That's what's getting to you. Of course it's getting to me. How's it not getting to you? It's not not getting to me. I'm I'm just not letting it get to me. How? How do you just not care? How do you just not care? Sit back and not care, not do anything. What do you mean, do anything? What do you expect me to do, Freddy? What is there that we can do? I don't know, just... <sighs> Freddy. I guess I should care that the world is ending, but I just don't. I would honestly be pissed if it stopped ending. Freddy always wants to do something about it. We've had this argument at least a million times, but there's nothing we can do. It's inevitable. Secretly, I think I know there's nothing we can do. I mean, I just know. I don't even want to say it. It's out of our control, out of everyone's control. But I just wish I was allowed to care, so I could pretend like there's something we can do, so I can fool myself into thinking this shit show is somehow savable. And I just want a gentleman to pretend with me, so we're able to say we tried, even if we didn't. Good evening and welcome back to Channel 4 News. Top of my tonight, the world is ending. Yes, you heard that correct, the world is ending. The world is ending right before your eyes. There are people eating dinner and the world is ending. There are people making decisions and the world is ending. There are people playing football and the world is ending. There are people watching and the world is ending. There are people buying houses and the world is ending. There are people laughing and the world is ending. There are people falling in love and the world is ending. There are people dying and the world is ending. There are people going to war and the world is ending. The world is ending. The world is always ending. And what are you going to do about it? They play this every night on every local TV channel. It's the only thing that ever plays anymore. Since there's this overwhelming sense of who cares, the government decided to ban all other news media, and now we are only allowed to watch this. And they've been playing it for years. I'm pretty sure the guy who originally recorded it is dead now. I watch the news every evening, and of course, it's always the same thing. A grim reminder that's all going to be over. But whatever, right? It's not like anyone cares about anything. 
the news again. Huh? Yeah. Why? What do you watch it? It's the same thing every time. I know it's the same thing every time. And why do you watch it? I'm not why? telling you. Why? You'll make fun of me. No, I won't. Yes, you will. <laughs> no, I won't. I promise. I still watch it because because I think it'll be different one day. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sorry. See? I can't tell you anything without you ridiculing me for having hope. I'm sorry. I, I won't do it again. Yes. Yes, you will. Because it's much easier for you to make fun of me than to face reality. No. I'm perfectly fine. This is okay. I am okay. I know you're not, Magellan. I know you. You might be a cynical jerk, but you are without feeling. I mean, yeah. Turning off your feelings can take an awful lot of effort, which is pointless in this world. I don't believe effort is pointless. Yeah, but you don't really live in this world. You live in one that's in your head. What do you mean? Like, I know you know, deep down inside, that there is nothing we can do. I know you know that, but you refuse to say it out loud. You refuse to acknowledge it. I refuse to acknowledge it because it's not true. It's not true. See? There you go again, trying to convince yourself. I'm not trying to convince myself. I, I am convinced. We can save the world. That's what we're here to do. I know it is. No, it isn't. We can't relieve everyone's suffering, Freddy. And look around us right now. Are we suffering? <clears throat> if an alien looked in on us, they would know that the world was ending. They would see us and they'd think, that is an ugly couch, but they wouldn't know that the world was ending. <laughs> I, I just feel like everyone on this earth deserves a future. We all deserve to fight for a future. Look, shh, shh. I know. I know. Isn't it enough to just be here together while we have the time? Who cares if the world is ending? The world is always ending, but we won't always be here. So please, can we just be here together while we have the time? Yes, I think we can do that. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Are you afraid? Yes, I am. So we can both admit to things now? We can. And what now? I don't know. I feel like we're alone in this world. We are. There's just our little blue ball, and miles and miles of space expanding every moment, pushing everything further and further away from us, and eventually we'll be floating in emptiness, and we'll be even more alone, but we'll be alone together. Alone together. Yes. That's an oxymoron. I know. You know, that sucks. I know. Good evening and welcome back to Channel 4 News. <laughs> Talk about like tonight, the world is ending. Yes, you heard that correct, the world. It's still ending. I know. Questions man has been asking himself since the dawn of time is, what is the meaning of life? And I don't mean the one that tells you what it's all about and what you can strive for, but I mean the one that makes life meaningful. And we live in a world that is always ending. It seems like those are the two constants, so it all sucks. But what makes life meaningful are those small moments that don't. Like when you notice the smell of rain on a hot summer's day. Or when the sunset makes the trees a brilliant orange and the sky behind it a soothing periwinkle. When you go to clean and the vacuum cord is wrapped up just the way you left it. <laughs> Seeing deer in the neighborhood, napping, clean sheets, learning, your cat making biscuits on your tummy. Not having anything planned so you can stay home and play video games. The sound of distant wind chimes. Looking into the eyes of the person you love. The ecstasy that comes when you realize it's Friday. Finally having the words to be able to describe how you feel. British comedy. <laughs> Drinking coffee in the morning. When your grandmother eats all the big pieces of chicken in your orange chicken bowl because she knows you only like the small pieces. When the plane lands and you can say to yourself one more time, okay, no more crashes. Drinking grapefruit juice because you know you aren't supposed to have it and you really miss it. When you get a text that says you will not believe what just happened. And being with those you love, because they're all the better for you being there. We live in a world that is always ending. So what are you going to do about it? 